Hi, uh, thanks for watching. So in this video we're going to be dealing with power dissipated in series. So in order to solve for this, um, in, sort of, in order to solve for the power in this circuit, what you need to know is that you can either solve for power by this formula, which power is equal to the current times the voltage, or you could do that power is equal to the voltage squared divided by the resistance, or you can do power is equal to the current squared times the resistance. So you can use any of those formulas to solve for the power. Um, so here we are given the voltage, uh, it's 120 volts, and we know what the two resistances are. So in order to solve this, I think the easiest way to go about it is just by adding these two resistors up. So let's, let's get the total resistance, which is equal to R1 plus R2. So the total resistance of the circuit is equal to, well, this is 100, or 200, and this one's 1,000. So the total resistance is just 1,200 ohms. And we already know the voltage, so we can go ahead and just use this formula right here. The power is equal to the voltage squared divided by the resistance. So let me scroll down so you could just finish off this problem. So we get, uh, let's see, the voltage, uh, where's the voltage, I think it's, is it 120? I believe, I forget. Yeah, 120 volts. So uh, the power is equal to the voltage squared divided by the resistance. The voltage is 120 volts squared divided by the resistance, which is 1200 ohms. Um, this would be, well, 12 squared is 144, so it's, that's just so that's we're going to have 14,400 volts divided by 1,200 ohms. These two cancel out, so it's just 144 divided by 12, which the power is equal to 12 watts. And that is the total power dissipated in this circuit. So I hope you liked it. Uh, if you did, please like it and uh, good luck in your classes.